Supplementary FPS in Sage Payroll. Here's how to keep HMRC informed and up to date. The earlier year update, EYU, would have been used for out of year corrections historically since the introduction of real time information, RTI. The EYU will still be available for adjustments to tax years prior to 2020 to 2021 until this is gradually phased out. For amendments for the current 2020 to 2021 year and future tax years, the supplementary FPS will be used. So let's take a look at submitting a supplementary FPS. Following a successful year-end process, there may be a need for corrections to earlier pay runs. If corrections are made, HMRC will need to be informed and you have to do this with the supplementary FPS. Start by making changes to the required pay run by clicking Edit Pay Run. There will be a message to indicate this will need to be submitted via a supplementary FPS before you can continue, so click Yes to this. You can see here I'm adding in overtime that was missed off, so now we need to submit this to HMRC. From the top, click Year End. As you can see the fourth option in the menu is Supplementary FPS. The box is showing an information bar and advising to submit this on the back of corrections made. To start this off, click Submit Supplementary FPS. You need to confirm you're using the same HMRC credentials and to continue, click Confirm. On the following message regarding checking your HMRC liability, click Submit. The Year End page displays your progress, showing how the submission is going. Once this is successfully submitted to HMRC, you can download a copy as well as view the history of corrections and submissions using the drop down arrow and the view history option. That's how you submit a supplementary FPS in Sage Payroll. Be Sage. Build on.